There are calls tonight for euthanasia campaigner Dr. Philip Nitschke to have his medical license revoked. He gave advice to a physically healthy 45-year-old man who committed suicide with the euthanasia drug Nembutol. Dr. Nitschke called it a rational suicide, a term that has been criticised as dangerous. Perth man Nigel Braley had lost his job and his wife. In 2011, Lena Braley died in what appeared to be an accident at a quarry. When the investigation was upgraded to murder, friends say Mr Braley believed he was a suspect. The 45-year-old emailed and met Dr Philip Nitschke, who says Mr Braley only explained he was facing dire circumstances. He gave a very coherent explanation uh, about the fact that he thought this was wise to have this information. And I thought it was quite reasonable that, uh, that he was uh, provided with it. Two months ago, Mr Braley took his own life. Dr Nitschke says he seemed of sound mind, dubbing it a rational suicide. Some say that term cheapens life. That for some people who want a suicide, we should just go ahead and let them do it because they're apparently rational. It's reprehensible that a member of the medical profession should be advising, supporting... An individual who is of good health to take their own lives. But Dr Nitschke says he wasn't acting in his capacity as a GP. If you're a medical professional, people put trust in you, uh, they are vulnerable and as a doctor you have an ethical and a moral obligation. Calls are growing for Dr Nitschke's medical licence to be reviewed. Legal experts say Dr Nitschke could have potentially committed a Commonwealth offence under the criminal code relating to the use of a carriage service for suicide-related material. There are certain exceptions under the law, but a conviction carries a maximum penalty of $170,000. So far, no one has ever been sentenced. Advocates say every effort should be made to prevent suicide. Someone who's contemplating suicide does so because they can see no other way out of a particular circumstance. There are always other ways out, I would argue. Anyone needing support can call these organisations. Marion Ives, SBS World News.